The machinery and cutting edge facilities that power luxury vessels are housed inside the ultra modern engine rooms of super yachts. In this video, we've detailed everything there is to know about the gigantic engine rooms of the Larson super yacht, from the super powerful engine to the generators and even cutting edge water systems. The advanced technologies contained in the engine rooms of these luxurious super yachts will absolutely leave you awestruck, so keep up. The engine room is such a crucial part of any super yacht and is responsible for powering the vessel and keeping it running smoothly. The engine room of a Larson super yacht is no exception. Being a highly advanced and sophisticated space that is essential to the operation of the yacht, the first thing you'll notice as you enter the engine room is the sheer size of it. Larson super yachts are known for their large luxurious spaces and the engine room is no different. With high ceilings and spacious layout, the engine room is designed to accommodate a variety of machinery and equipment that is necessary for powering the yacht. One of the key features of the engine room is its main propulsion system. This is the system that provides the power to move the yacht through the water. On a Larson super yacht, the main propulsion system is typically comprised of a diesel engine or a gas turbine along with transmission and a propeller. The engine room also houses the generators that provide electrical power to the yacht as well as the air conditioning and other systems that keep the yacht comfortable and running smoothly. The engine room of the Larson super yacht is a complex technologically advanced space and is typically located towards the rear of the yacht below the main deck and is accessible via a series of stairwells or ladders. At the heart of the engine room are the yacht's engines which are commonly located at the centre of the room and are surrounded by several support systems including fuel tanks, generators and electrical panels. In addition to the engines, the engine room also houses several other systems that are essential to the yacht's operation. For context, there is often a water treatment system to purify the yacht's water supply, as well as a sewage treatment system to process waste. The engine room also often houses a system for storing and distributing compressed air, which is used for a variety of purposes, such as operating pneumatic tools or inflating life rafts. Overall, the engine room of Larson Super Yacht is a highly complex and sophisticated space and a testament to the unique engineering and technological prowess that makes Larson Super Yachts the impressive piece of machinery that they are. Now, let's take a look at some of the major components in the engine room of any Larson Super Yacht. As would be expected, generators in the engine rooms of Larson Super Yachts convert mechanical energy into electrical energy that used to power the electrical systems and equipment on the yachts. The generators are typically connected to the yacht's engines allowing them to generate electricity from the mechanical energy produced by the engines. This electricity is then used to power every electrical system and equipment on the super yacht. These engine rooms usually house three different types of generators which include the main generators, emergency generators and auxiliary generators. While the main generators power the yacht systems and equipment, the emergency generators are used as a backup power source in case of an operational failure by the main generators. Auxiliary generators on the other hand majorly power specific systems and equipment on the yacht, usually air conditioning or lighting. The fuel tanks on a Larson Super Yacht are used to store the fuel that powers the yacht's engines. These fuel tanks would typically be located close to the engines, allowing the fuel to be easily transported from the tanks to the engines. The fuel tanks on a yacht likewise have their distinct features and systems, majorly fuel filters and pumps to help ensure that the fuel being transported to the engines is clean and properly distributed. There are likewise three types of fuel tanks in any Larson Super Yacht engine room. The main fuel tanks store the primary supply of fuel for the yacht's engines, while auxiliary fuel tanks are used to store additional fuel for specific purposes like operating the yacht's generators. Then there are smaller tanks called day tanks, which are used to provide a convenient supply of fuel for the yacht's engines during normal operation. Since super yachts are often at sea for a long time, with their engine rooms working non-stop, there is a high chance that the engines might get overheated. 
which is why these vessels need a cooling system. The cooling systems in a Larsen super yachts engine room, like in the engine rooms of other super yachts, help keep the engines and other equipment cool and operating at optimal temperatures. This is important because the engines and other equipment in the super yacht engine room can generate a lot of heat which can cause problems if not properly managed. The cooling systems on a yacht may include things like radiators, fans, cooling water pumps and other components that help dissipate heat and keep the engine room cool. The cooling systems help to circulate cool air or other coolants throughout the engine rooms in regulating the temperature in the engine room. Luxury super yachts are majorly have three kinds of cooling systems which can either be a raw water cooling system which uses sea water in cooling the engine room, a fresh water cooling system which uses fresh water distilled on the yacht from sea water or an air cooled system which uses cool air in regulating the temperature of the engine room. The electrical systems in the Larsen Super Yachts engine room are responsible for providing power to the various systems and equipment that are housed in the engine room. The electrical systems on a yacht may include things like wiring, circuit breakers and other components that help distribute and control the flow of electricity throughout the engine room. The electrical systems may also include safety features like ground fault circuit interrupters and other protective devices that are installed to help prevent electrical accidents and ensure the safety of the yacht's crew and passengers. Batteries, inverters and chargers are a few other parts of the yacht's electrical system that are used to store and control electricity on the vessel. Engine The engine in the Larsen Super Yacht engine room is the main power source for the yacht. It supplies the mechanical energy that is used to propel the yacht across the water. The type and size of the engine in a super yacht engine room would depend on the size and specifications of the yacht as well as the specific needs and preferences of the owner. Super yacht engines are typically large and powerful allowing the yacht to reach high speeds and providing a smooth and comfortable ride for the passengers. The engine in a super yacht's engine room may be connected to various systems and equipment such as the propeller, transmission and other components to help the yacht move efficiently and effectively through the water. Larsen engine rooms often boast different types of engines including diesel engines, gas turbine engines and electrical motors. While electric motors are used to power certain systems on the yacht such as thrusters or stabilizers, diesel and gas turbine engines are combustion engines and that are used specific kinds of fuel for powering the turbine that drives the yacht's propellers. Imagine being in a super yacht and always having to dive into the sea every time you need to take out. That'll be absurd, right? Well, that's why super yachts like Larsen's always feature water treatment systems in their engine rooms for cleaning and purifying every ounce of water that's to be used on the yacht. This may include things like systems that remove impurities and contaminants from the yacht's drinking water conduits, as well as systems that clean and purify the water used for other purposes such as showering and washing. The water treatment systems on a Larsen super yacht typically use three types of water treatment methods for purifying water for use on the yacht. This can either be a reverse osmosis system which uses a membrane to remove impurities from seawater in producing fresh water that can be used on the yacht, a chemical treatment system which uses chemicals to disinfect and purify seawater or a filtration system which uses physical filters to remove particles and impurities from seawater. The sewage treatment systems in a Larsen Super Yachts engine room are used to treat and process the wastewater generated aboard the yacht. The system removes impurities and contaminants from the wastewater and is similarly capable of recycling wastewater as well. When not recycled, the sewage treatment systems helps ensure that the wastewater generated on board is clean and safe before disposal into the sea. The sewage treatment system in a Larsen engine room can either be an aerobic treatment system or an aerobic treatment system or an advanced treatment system. While aerobic treatment systems are designed to use oxygen to break down organic matter in the sewage, anaerobic treatment systems use bacteria that don't require oxygen to do the same. However, advanced treatment systems use more complex processes to purify and treat sewage on the yacht. 
The compressed air treatment systems in a Larsen Super Yachts engine room are used to clean, purify and regulate the compressed air that is used on the yacht. This may include gadgets like air compressors, air filters, air dryers and regulators which help to produce clean, high quality compressed air that can be used for various purposes aboard the yacht and in its engine room. The air compressors are used to compress atmospheric air which is then used to power various on the yacht like the set of pneumatic tools and the air conditioning system. Air dryers on the other hand are useful for removing moisture from compressed air while air filters are used to remove dust and other contaminants from the air circulated aboard the yacht. I click on this video right here to view more amazing videos about luxury super yachts and amazing flying machines.